Welcome to this book summary of How Finance Works by Mihir Desai. This book provides a comprehensive overview of the world of finance, including the history of financial systems, the basics of finance, and the role of finance in society. By the end of this summary, you'll have a better understanding of how finance works and how it affects our daily lives. Chapter 1. Introduction. In the first chapter, Mihir Desai provides an overview of the book and introduces readers to the basics of finance. He argues that finance is not just about money, but about the way in which we allocate resources in society. He also notes that finance is often misunderstood and that there are many misconceptions about the role of finance in our lives. Chapter 2. Financial History In this chapter, Desai takes readers on a journey through financial history, starting with the ancient world and moving on to the modern era. He highlights the key innovations and developments that have shaped the financial world, such as the invention of paper money, the rise of banking, and the development of modern financial markets. Chapter 3. Financial Statements In this chapter, Desai introduces readers to the basics of financial statements. He explains the key components of a balance sheet income statement, and cash flow statement, and shows how these statements can be used to assess the financial health of a company. He also provides tips for interpreting financial statements and understanding the key metrics that investors use to evaluate companies. Chapter 4. Valuation In this chapter, Desai discusses the process of valuation or determining the value of an asset. He explains the different methods of valuation, such as discounted cash flow analysis and price-to-earnings ratios, and provides examples of how these methods can be used to value companies. He also explores the role of valuation in financial markets and discusses the concept of market efficiency. Chapter 5. Risk and Return In this chapter, Desai discusses the relationship between risk and return in finance. He explains how investors use the concept of risk to evaluate investment opportunities and how they balance risk and return to build investment portfolios. He also discusses the different types of risk, such as market risk and credit risk, and provides tips for managing risk in investment portfolios. Chapter 6. Capital Markets In this chapter, Desai explores the world of capital markets, including stock markets and bond markets. He explains how these markets work, and how they are used to raise capital for companies. He also discusses the role of financial intermediaries, such as investment banks and brokers, in capital markets. Chapter 7. Corporate Finance In this chapter, Desai explores the world of corporate finance, including the role of financial managers in companies. He discusses the key decisions that financial managers make, such as how to finance operations and how to invest in growth opportunities. He also provides tips for evaluating investment opportunities and making sound financial decisions. Chapter 8. Behavioral Finance In this chapter, Desai discusses the concept of behavioral finance, which is the study of how emotions and cognitive biases affect financial decision-making. He explains how investors often make irrational decisions, such as buying high and selling low, and provides tips for overcoming these biases. He also discusses the role of financial education in improving financial decision-making. Chapter 9. Global Finance In this chapter, Desai explores the world of global finance, including the role of international financial institutions, such as the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. He discusses the challenges of international finance, such as exchange rate fluctuations and political instability, and provides tips for managing risk in global investments. Chapter 10. The Future of Finance In the final chapter, Desai looks to the future of finance and discusses the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. He highlights the key trends that are shaping the industry, including the rise of fintech, the increasing importance of sustainability and social responsibility, and the potential impact of artificial intelligence and automation. Desai argues that while technology is transforming the financial industry, it is not a panacea for all the problems it faces. He believes that traditional financial institutions and new fintech players need to work together to create a more inclusive and responsible financial system. He also stresses the importance of promoting financial literacy and education, 
so that individuals can make informed decisions about their money and investments.